What is going on, everybody? This is Rawstar of the Burbank Misfits. And of course, as always, I am joined with my wonderful co-host, CW. Yeah, it's me. And today, you know, today we have we have a wonderful, awesome treat for you today. Um, we have a person who I've met at a, a AVN event, you know, and I, when I saw her, I'm like, you know, I had to go over to her and talk to her because she just looks so, she just looks so like adorable. But I'm like, I have to meet her, you know, and she's like an awesome, awesome person. Once you have any interaction with her, because she has a real bubbly, per- bubbly and awesome personality, and she's always like that smile can just you know, like get you, get you like, get you stuck. She's uh, been in over 130 scenes for Naughty America, Evil Angel, Black Raw, Brazzers, Teen Fidelity, Amateur Allure, and a whole bunch more. So she's been a lot. She's been around um, to many different places. She's very, you know, you know, desired to uh, to be wanted. You know, she's been in magazines. She's she has a per- she has a she has a, a, a personal fetish for lingerie because she collects it. She has uh, her name. Her name itself comes from her, you know, loving loving to draw like art. So that's where the code comes from, you know. She loves. She's into PC games, so she plays Hearthstone, Starcraft Two, Hearts of the Swarm, and Don't Starve Together, etc. I mean, and and she just you know released a few scenes with Girls Way that just came out. Um, a few scenes for uh, Erotic X coming out uh, called. Uh, dribble trouble you know like she's just a fun person if you go down everything she does and and her cats if you ever if you ever uh you know follow her on twitter you should follow her and you just uh scroll down she will post her cats a lot and they are just so freaking cute you know without any further ado (laughs) wonderful the vibrant the excellent miss alex cole Thank you so much. I don't know. Wow. I'm going to try to live up to all that. That was so sweet. Thank you. I can't stop smiling. That was good. I mean, that was real good. I, mean, you, 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 I sound very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> you, you did your impressive. research. You yeah. are very impressive. And it's not even all I wrote down. Because <laughs> I, I, I even got written down here, like, you're, you're Native, American, Native American, and you're very proud of that. <laughs> you started, you know, the industry and, uh, well, started doing adult entertainment. And uh, 2015, I mean, you were nominated from. Um, a okay, let us ask some questions. So I'm like, no, I ha- I have it all written down here. So I was, I was reading, and I'm like, I got entranced with you know the aura of what Alex Cole is. You know, it was <laughs> so much to read. So, but the stuff that I did forget. Tell everybody about yourself. Um, you know. I don't know if you really forgot all that much. I mean, um, I don't know. I, I, uh, you kind of mentioned it. I started camming in 2015, and uh, I started doing mainstream porn in uh, 2019. And uh, so I've been around a long time. So there's a lot of fun little inside jokes and memes. And I've made a lot of videos. I have over 200 videos on my many vids. And uh, I don't know, I've just been around for a long time, just hanging around. I, I started going to AVN in 2015, so I've been going to Expos for uh, five years straight, pretty on, except for this year, of course. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, I guess the main thing to know is I'm pretty laid back, and I like to let people know that their fetishes and kinks are totally fine, and um, just like to show up online and help people have a good day. I guess that's about it. Okay. Cool. I mean, like, I, I just know, like, uh, I want to say again, like, just from what you just said about yourself, you can see, like, your awesome personality just illuminate. So, I didn't know you had just started doing mainstream in 2019, though. Yeah. I thought you were around a little bit longer, because I met you, uh, yeah. I want to say, like, late 2019, like, uh, not the hol- not the Christmas party, but the one before that. Yeah, no, I, I think we met uh, right as I was starting to get into things, um, oh, but like I, I did a lot of checking stuff out first, so I was hanging around with porn people and stuff before I ever did porn, 
Mm -hmm. um, just through meeting people through like Twitter and, and everything. The sex work community has a lot of overlap. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just kind of got to know a bunch of people and was at a lot of the events and stuff. And then okay. I finally started shooting scenes January, 2019. So okay. that's when uh, the mainstream portion of the career started. And like you said, it's been busy. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, and like, in CW, give you an idea. I met her the day my car got robbed. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, when I when I said my car got robbed, and I went to an AV event that same, like, when I know it's oh, guys broken into. Yeah. Oh man. With all the pills they day. forgot to take. No, they took the pills. They just. Oh, they took the pills, but they left everything else. Yeah, yeah I think I told Alexa, uh, Alex what they stole. They stole, they stole pills, condoms my glasses and uh the $2 huh. bill that's all he took yeah yeah hey, luck and protection and I, was, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I was more upset about the condom the condom than anything else and my glasses oh. kind of my glasses like who was still too <laughs> anyway so alex how did you start camming i'm always i, I guess i'm always interested in everybody's origin story yeah. Um, okay. Well, it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, I was working a few different jobs and, um, and uh, a guy I was dating at the time thought that I should quit all my jobs and do camming instead. And uh, I wasn't so sure about that. I didn't even know camming was a thing. I thought it was just a virus pop up on uh, <laughs> So I took a couple months and researched it and I decided you know, I was going to do it. Uh, the first cam girls I ever watched were Jolene Brody and uh, Katie Cat. So they really inspired a lot of uh, my beginnings. Um, and uh, I figured out that one of my girlfriends cammed for fun. So my first three shows I did with her. And then after that, I broke out on my own. And uh, I, it took a while. It took six months before I could quit two of my jobs. So I was doing three jobs and camming eight hours a day, every day. And then uh, after, after that, uh, I could kind of relax and eventually I quit my third job and focused everything into camming, which was kind of scary, but really exciting. Um, and it wasn't just about um, having a new career path. It was also about um, being able to explore my sexuality with a group of people online who were nothing but encouraging. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, nobody really discourages you from exploring your sexuality on a campsite. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, yeah babe, whatever don't you do that. Do. I'm thinking about trying this. Don't do that. It's like, I don't, don't know. Do <laughs> Seems a little vulgar. It's like, no, no. Whatever you want and more, try it here with us. It's safe. So <laughs> um, it's extremely encouraging. And it did actually help me uh, build boundaries and, and limits and things like that, too. So that was that was a good start. I mean, that's, it's just random because I know that um, sometimes it's the opposite way around that the the person themselves want to do it and then it's a, a rift between, you know, their mates sometimes about why do you want to do it? Why do you want to share, you know, your body mm -hmm. with others? But you have a good, you know, startup and I'm glad that uh, you were able to transition well, you know? Yeah, you know, it was actually a weird, uh, it, was, it still wasn't the best way um because my partner at the time had wanted me to do camming so that they could meet all these cam girls so uh wow. so it's kind of the opposite where uh my partner was like oh you should bring people over and you should go like shoot content with these people and i was wow. like i don't think i'm ready <laughs> he was like no come on we are we are ready we are ready we are we are we 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 are ready to use uh -huh. your body <laughs> but but nowadays, nowadays, uh, you know, that didn't last. So I broke out on my own and, and everything after that. And it's been real good ever since. Cool. I mean, like, and you, you already, you mean, you have a good following. Um, Cause people really, really love, like you can see that everybody's talking about you, like within your community, you don't hear nothing too negative about Miss yeah. Cole. So yeah. you, have, you have people, you know, because you're, you're kind of like your person is like that that girl next door you can just you know be real with yeah well i i think part of it is i don't really have much of an ego because it's always just like hi guys i'm just really happy to be here yeah uh, so um i think that helps and i think i'm i'm pretty 
I don't know. I'm just pretty laid back, so I don't have a whole lot of uh, controversial opinions or anything that I that I bother people with or anything. I, I just, I'm like, hey, well, uh, I'm logging on and we can hang out. And if you want to be cool and have a good time, then you're welcome. And if you're not, then please leave. And that's that's just about it. It's not super complicated or anything. Yeah, what can somebody really say to that besides, unless they want to just be a real asshole? Oh, I, there's plenty of that, but oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you just, that's the great thing about like uh, camming is you, or being on uh, Pornhub or, or whatever, you can just block or mute or delete whatever you don't, whatever doesn't serve you. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> okay. so it's like, oh, I could let my feelings get hurt by this re weird asshole comment, or I could, you know, just mute it. And then I never have to look at it again. And then I can hang out with the thousands of people that don't want to be douchebags today. So. <laughs> I mean, but that's what some people get off. They they get off on trying to see if they could hurt somebody, and that's just yeah. wrong. And and I think hurt people hurt people. And so a lot of the time, what I'll do before I block anybody or mute anybody is like, Hey, man, you you okay? You want to talk? Are you having a bad day? <laughs> wow. The <laughs> do, do people are people are people are like you know i'm sorry i was really wow sometimes it really works sometimes people are like actually uh this this thing happened and i've been feeling really upset about it and, and we'll have a talk you know every now and then maybe like 10 percent of the time i mean wow. that's that's good I mean, like, that's, and that's one thing too. I'm you, like, ten percent of the time, that sounds that's a. I mean, it's not that. It's like a pretty high, yeah. That's yeah. still that's still high though. Oh no, like, yeah. With how how much some of these people are, you know, a holes. Yeah. It, well, I think part of it is I don't get that many, um, mm. because it's, it's clear that I'm not. I, I don't feed it, so they don't see me reacting to other people being that way. So they mm -hmm. don't assume that they can get my attention that way. Mm -hmm. Um, there's still some, which is why you know, there's the. 10% turnover rate but yeah. <laughs> that's out of a small portion of people just because normally it's like that that type of behavior doesn't get attention so mm -hmm. it's not encouraged I think the best See. way to handle um you know online like bully behavior is to just be like okay here's here's my internet here's wall. Your wall yeah mm -hmm. yeah when when Goodbye. you chill out we can talk till then Nope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. people, it's usually the same people that have issues with the people with like 10 followers and mm -hmm. no profile picture so well and i don't i don't know that i don't personally think follower count is like, no what I, what, I, what i mean is people who make 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 fake profiles sure. to say sure. some stuff to people yeah some that's people what i mean make the fake profiles just to mess with people but yeah you know that's okay <laughs> it's fine do it. Do what you got to do. I'm just not gonna let it bother me. But I did want to say this though. Wow. I, I was That's a good way to look at it because I'm like, I, I can see how this could really start to get to people because it's like, yeah. okay, you're watching my movies and my scenes, and probably a lot of you are enjoying them, but mm -hmm. then now you're gonna come at me like really mm -hmm. sideways. Yeah. I've gotten all kinds of messages and stuff, but it just doesn't, I don't know. It goes in one ear and not the other. And I figure that's the best way to handle it. I agree with you. I mean, like, um, because once you start letting it get to you, that mm -hmm. that when it, it will change how you interact with everybody else. Yeah, it will. That, that was kind of the turning point because for, for a little while I would react and and people would like it. They'd be like, oh yeah, like destroy the troll. Because I'm relatively, I don't know. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm relatively quick with comebacks. So uh, we would have fun with it in, on live cam where it's like somebody would come in and try to say something just to like stir something up. And we would just turn it into a, like a fun little game of like, mm -hmm. you're not going to upset me. Eventually, you're going to explode and then leave. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. so, but I, I'm a happier person now that I just don't even bother. That's good. Oh, so. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> But I did want to say don't this. even give it the energy. No, no, because that energy can be spent other places. True. But what were you gonna say, French? So, so I was about to say this really quick. Um, so when I was going through everything, I seen that you're into uh to manga and um anime. 
Yeah. But correct. What do you like to watch? Because, like me, 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 and CW are different spectrums because we watch mm-hmm. completely different animes, and mm-hmm. I'm really into certain ones, and he's really into other ones. So, where are you into? I'm into a really weird variety um, because I can go from uh, Skip Beat or Chobits, which are kind of like fan service or for girls or something like that, Um, romance type cute things. I can go from like Skip Beat to um, Elf and Lead or uh, When Cicadas Cry, which is like really graphic horror anime. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm all across the spectrum. I like the classics like Naruto and uh, I read that in... uh, middle school and high school. Um, Parasite's really good. Um, Your Lie in April is one that's on uh, Netflix that's really nice. It's one season only and it's it's like a tearjerker. Um, okay. I like Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, Black Cat is another one that's a little obscure. Um, I would come home from school and like uh, we had dial up internet and I would uh, mm-hmm. wait for an hour for a five minute clip to load. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, so there's those. What are some of the ones that y'all like? And I'll tell you, um, Seven Deadly Sins, Castlevania, those are good. Uh, Doro Hey Doro is another one I really like. I'm hoping it gets the second season. Oh, yeah. I hope it gets the second season. It gets really, the story gets really good. Yeah. Uh, I'll read either. the manga, yeah. They hooked me in, in less than a minute of the first episode, so. Like the way they started so quick is mm-hmm. is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It I, keeps pushing um, it keeps pushing in the manga it, it the pace just I fell off of it, but uh the pace is just like it keeps going, keeps pushing. Like mm-hmm. I really like it. Mm-hmm. I know um, that a lot of the ones that I watch personally, mm-hmm. like they fall within that like slice of life. Mm-hmm. That or that uh some more harems. like skip. I watch a lot of harems. And uh, oh, okay. and like I I do I do like the reverse harem mantra because that's uh, Akuto yeah. uh, High School Club. I uh, run High School Host Club. I love I love that. I love and that. I watched watch that like three times. So it's super good. And um, mm, there's more like that that I know, but now I'm spacing. But I do like I do like Oran a lot. So and like and like right now the only thing I'm watching right now. I don't now, watch slice. So I. <laughs> I guess hey. I don't watch really too many slice of life because because we watched anime. Because we because I don't know yeah. you because he, he was watching Parasite one time and mm-hmm. I couldn't get into Parasite. Yeah. So. Hey, I like both. Yeah, I started. I read that in high school. Yeah, I but I guess I guess I've never sat down and watched one. You didn't watch like, Parasite, or no? I just I haven't sat down and just watched one of these uh, slice of that life animes that uh, it's, you know it's Prince not- is talking about. Every genre isn't for everybody and it doesn't have to be. Mm-hmm. Just because like there's people like me that like all of it and then there's people like you guys who like your certain types and that's totally valid. Like there's no reason to ever be like, Oh, you don't like the thing I like? Mm, that makes well, me oh. feeling. Well, like, well, 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 I haven't really given his uh the things he likes to watch a chance. I think you much. should always give stuff a chance. Yeah. 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 I'm <laughs> like too I get too consumed. <laughs> I yes. give I give most animes when mm-hmm. I watch them like three to four episodes, you know, mm-hmm. and if I can't get into them or that first episode is really 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 bad, I just can't do it. Yeah, you know, I, I'm about the same way. I like to give things a valid chance, like never just one episode because come on, I like the, the first one is generally not the best. Have so. you seen yeah, another? usually. Have you seen another? Have you seen another? I don't think so. With that one, that one in particular is a good example of why I give animes three episodes. Yeah. Because okay. I was about to drop it and the very ending part of that last episode I watched made me watch the entire series. But nice. the, every everything okay. else about it, I want to say, oh my God, I was so bored. Yeah. At first. Yeah. yeah. So... But I like, I like to watch different things, you know, but it has to really suck me in. Mm-hmm. So, but I love the, I got transferred here to a, from a different world. So, like, I'm watching ReZero. Of the Isekai. I'm watching ReZero yeah. right now. So, the new season, ReZero. So. Okay. I'm trudging my way through uh, One Piece, finally. Oh, man. I just, I just started watching One Piece because I figured it's time. <laughs> Um, yeah, 
And I do, I do like it. I do like it a lot. I'm starting from yeah. episode one, so I'm about five in, I think. And uh, it's yeah. not my normal style, but it is one of those classics where it's like, I feel like mm-hmm. I should give this a fair shot. As I watch it, it looks to me as almost, I don't know if the creators really thought about it this way, but almost like they knew like, this is going to be around for a long time. So as yeah. as I watch it, I notice like the storylines are starting to get more mature, like like mm-hmm. it was growing up with whoever was watching it. Yeah, so, kind of like um, kind of like how Naruto does. Mm-hmm. Where it grows up yeah. with the audience pretty uh, yeah. pretty well. I've never. Yeah, seen yeah, Naruto. it's interesting. The timing is just like boom, really well like. Done. You know, there's so honest. many, there's just like a few anime that you could just like, if you had a kid and you, it's weird because when I watch them, I'm like, these are some decent values for kids mm-hmm. to have. Yeah. And I was like, I could really set my kid down and just have them watch this from like five to 10. Totally. So like, I've never seen an episode of Naruto. The only thing I know about it is the Naruto run. And <laughs> one thing that it reminds me of is my friend from high school, um, because that's how she used to run when she ran down the hallways. Oh, jeez. So, so yeah. So it just from Melissa C W. So oh, wow. yeah. So it just, yeah, it just Melissa. Yeah. So it always remind me of uh, her whenever I see it. So, but I've never I've never seen it. So and I've, beep, beep. I heard. feel like you. I feel like you might like it if you like slice of life type stuff because there is a good amount of that in there. But it's one of those things where it is meant for younger kids in the very beginning. So you might want to uh, like look up which episodes are necessary and which episodes are filler so that you can jump through the first part a little quicker if it's kind of dragging for you. Um, but then once you get into Shippuden, it's more for adults and young adults, so it's a lot easier to get into yeah that's what i had to do i had to check out which ones were filler there was a lot of filler there is a lot of filler but it is like also character development a lot. Mm-hmm. so it depends because so I, do, I do know like because i had stopped watching anime for like i want to say probably like six years between high school and um when i moved back to la moved out here to mm-hmm. la and like the anime that got me back into watching an anime was very etchy. Mm-hmm. And it it was like three, four animes I watched that was etchy that got me back into watching them until I got into, you know, the mantra of what I watch now because mm-hmm. it was an re- anime called Rosario the Vampire. Oh, okay. I've seen that. And, <laughs> and like, it was that very one. Very I like it. And Siki yeah. Ray. I love Siki Ray. It's a very well put together anime and the manga's better but you know you know one i like is uh high school of the dead and they only had the one season and an ova but uh it left it on a cliffhanger so there should have been a second season oh yeah i started watching that i, I started to like it i'll never get over that one it's so good and it's so fan servicey it's amazing there are so many animes yeah it's that like deserve a second season the yeah. angles mm-hmm. the it's, angles it's, it's, yeah, you're like, the wow. physics <laughs> Like, wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, okay, we gotta kill these zombies, but... We're gonna do <laughs> it in the most sexual way possible. Very possible. <laughs> oh, it's just like, it's like, it's like, it's like they say that the, uh, the person who made Food Wars used to do, like, hentai writing. That's why, like, when they... You see Food Wars, right? Mm-hmm. That's why when they <sighs> eat the food, they will have a very orgasmic response. Uh-huh. It's because he was so used to writing, uh, drawing into that style of, ah, uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's why he writes like that, you know, the whole orgasmic from eating. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So also you play video games. So of these games, I, oh, ouch. Of these games I said earlier, uh, what games are you really into? Um, Lately I've been playing... Um, this Van Helsing trap game on the Xbox One. Um, I'd have to look up the name. It's like a really long name, but it's like a, mm-hmm. a tower defense. Um, 
and then I haven't had a whole lot of time for, for video games since I started doing mainstream, honestly. Um, I've been watching a lot of game playthroughs to hold me over until I have more free time. <laughs> um, but like Markiplier and PewDiePie playthroughs mo ma mm -hmm. mainly. Um, but I, you're right, I do really like StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm, and Hearthstone and League and um, all that jazz. I have a question so I can judge you really quick. Um, <laughs> who, do you, who do you main in League? I'm usually a support character. Um, I got really good with Sona. Yeah. But, um, I, or I, I main Nami. Wow. Okay. To the, to, the, to, the, to the point where in, because I watch people play video games on Twitch, to the mm -hmm. point where that there is a command in their Twitch stream about mm -hmm. how much I play Nami. Nice. Yeah, because Nami, Nami and Heimerdinger, those are my people. Nice. Yeah, I um, I know I, I liked Cho'Gath there for a long time, but really it's it's Sona and uh, Ash, I think, are my mains. Okay. Okay. No, because I was actually just... Wow, I'm a casual gamer now. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, no, I, 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 I ask because, like, if you look on my on the bottom of my screen right now, it is three mm. windows open. My Chrome, my Notes, and League of Legends. Outside of Zoom. Yeah. So Chrome, <laughs> my notebook, and League of Legends. <laughs> that's, that's all that's open. Wow. Yeah. League, League is my get away from life. So I always find it interesting when people, like, you know, what do you do when you're not when you're not having sex on camera? Because there's always more to you, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, well, for your your uh, lingerie collection, how long you've been doing that, and where did that start? Yeah, um, I guess I started collecting lingerie back in middle school. For middle middle school graduation, um, I got to go buy my very first thong. Um, I convinced my mom it was necessary. <laughs> so, um, I guess I guess then. Honestly. I can't have any panty lines in high school, Mom. No, no. So it was a specific, like, uh, pantsuit outfit. And I was like, everybody's going to think it looks weird if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so so I started back then. And, and uh, it's something it's more casual now because I think I'm less uh, sexually repressed. But back when I was more repressed, I, I, I really threw all my energy into collecting um, interesting lingerie because it just made me happy so but nowadays uh I, I have a lot of wardrobe and stuff and i'm constantly mm -hmm. having to get new stuff for wardrobe so i've chilled out a lot <laughs> how is that i always wonder like i've all i use well i always wondered like do they all bring their own stuff yeah Is someone no, uh, most, oh okay mostly um there are some question like, answer yeah there are some companies that'll provide costumes and provide outfits because they're super particular. Mm -hmm. um, but most most places ask you to bring a variety of your own stuff and then they might have something to supplement it just in case. Um, but usually, usually we're using our own stuff and they would prefer that we haven't used it before or at least not recently. Uh, so there's a whole lot of turnover. Okay, oh, it's like, uh, this is gonna have to go back into the, this is gonna have to go into the private life or. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, usually it, it, it works out well for me because I do cam and stuff. So I, I just keep everything for cam after I've used it up for mainstream. And then maybe I'll check in the next year and if it's still good and it's, it isn't like too uh, specific, then usually I can work it back. Okay, again. cool. Put it back in rotation. <laughs> hmm? How, I said, I said, how I said, much I said, does that kind of cost trying to keep up with wardrobe and like constantly change over? It depends. I'm pretty frugal personally, uh, so I try not to spend more than I need to. And I do a lot of, um, like, I'll go to Goodwill to get mm -hmm. office clothes and stuff because that's where you can find norm normal looking office clothes that are in good condition and aren't very expensive. So, um, and sometimes clothes will get ruined on set. So I don't like to bring anything I care too much about to set. Right just in case, because uh, you never know when it's going to be like, okay, and we need you to spill this uh, bright red beverage on your shirt, or we need you to um, 
tear this off or this is going to be ripped off or cut off or whatever. Um, so you never really know. So it's always good to bring things that you don't care if you get to take them home. Um, yeah, the funny thing is how expensive that could, that could get, especially oh. if it was brand new. Like, yeah, I mean, some people, some people have like, like I have, um, like, I think like six new nice lingerie sets for special mm -hmm. occasions or special scenes or, or whatever uh, kind of requirements might be needed. Mm -hmm. And those are expensive and I would prefer that they didn't get destroyed, but I kind of have it in my head that they might. Um, and those are for special occasions, but I know some people who that's all their wardrobe and I don't know how they do it because I I'd have a heart attack. Um, <laughs> but I do a lot of uh, Amazon shopping and bargain shopping and um, local stores mm -hmm. and stuff like that to try to, keep, try to keep it more reasonable. That way I can relax okay. a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, it's, not, it's not the worst. Um, clothing is pretty inexpensive if you look in the right places. So... That's true. <laughs> yeah, thrift stores. Ross, are dress for less. Ross, yeah, stuff like that, you know. Um, Rhapsody L is one place that we have here in Vegas, and there's uh, Fallas and, uh, you know, Forever 21, stuff like that. But Okay. Cool. So it's not too bad. So what would wow. you say? Okay. So listen to this podcast if you're looking for a way to save some money <laughs> on some wardrobe. <laughs> So, well, I guess you're already listening. <laughs> right. Is that like it's like, well, you know, you should listen to this, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're already li you're already halfway through. You already. <laughs> so, so Miss Cole, like from what I from, I did say that you got it, you got your name from um, you know, the charcoal art. You yeah. Know. So how long you been? How long have you been doing that, or did that, or? Explain. Um, so I used to be super into art and theater in school, and I got an art scholarship for one of my drawings when oh, I was. That's what's school. up. Yeah, and so cool. art's always just been a big part of uh, what I enjoy doing. Again, I, I I don't have a ton of time for it, just with all the traveling and shooting and, and running around for work. Um, so I don't mm -hmm. draw very much anymore. Uh, eventually, I want to get back into it. But when I first started camming, I was also doing. Uh, custom charcoal drawings for people so I would do some of that on cam and that's kind of where part of that came from was I was super oh, that's cute. charcoal at, the, at that time so I was like oh, okay well this will work so. and, it's, and it's not it's not common so like you know you get a lot mm -hmm. of people use the same last name or the same first name and it's just harder to find them so mm -hmm. if someone was looking for you specifically to buy her porn and not get it for free, they could. Uh, yeah, guys. Bye. Bye. You know, purchase. Well, they can totally watch my free Pornhub stuff. I don't mind that at all. It's free, like, yeah, only only on her. Watch page. the free for, the free porn hub stuff and then go buy. Yeah, because she has, a, she has, she has <laughs> her mean, own we're, profile. We're in a pandemic, so I'm not pushing anybody to buy anything that isn't a necessity right now. Mm. But if if you oh, that's so, sweet. Yeah, no, I, you know, I've had people apologizing for not being able to tip or not being able to stay subscribed to my OnlyFans or not being able to buy stuff. And it's like, don't worry about it. This is, you know, a special time. Yeah, it's day. extra. It's, I, I would much rather you took care of your own needs and my porn isn't going anywhere and I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, I'll be around when things are a little more st stable. Mainly, mainly I, boom, I, you heard like, it here. I push it. I push it mainly because so, so when you many, can afford it, there are just so many back. sites out there that people just steal from, and and mm -hmm. they have the means, you know. And mm -hmm. so it's something like you know, you just it's a, it's a moniker that I've seen a lot. Of people saying, "Why would you buy porn when it's all over the internet for mm -hmm. free?" And it's like you, but you do you still want to see this performer work? You yeah. Do? yeah, you know, I know people or, say stuff like that, and I get why and everything, and. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't worry about it too much because I feel people, um, there's plenty of people who don't feel that way. So I'm not going to go down anybody's throat about like, well, you should because this or anything like that. It's like, you don't have to, man. Like, <laughs> you don't have to buy anything from me. I put out free stuff. Um, I'd prefer people didn't steal stuff, but I'm just not going to get like 
crazy mad about people feeling like they shouldn't have to pay for porn because I grew up in a world where I, I didn't know people paid for porn. I thought it was all free. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm older now and I, I totally like get that that's not the case. And I don't ever, I don't understand how I ever thought it made sense, but um, yeah, I don't know. I figure, you know, I'm not going to bully anybody into buying my shit. So <laughs> I'm going to be around and be available just in case they change their mind, but I'm not going to try to hassle anybody. I understand. I like your water off a duck's back attitude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not yeah. like, impressed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm doing all right. There's enough people paying. Yeah. For, so well, I, don't, I don't have to complain about people not paying. I think people are always going to have um, specific tastes. And you can't, I know I have a lot of specific tastes and I can't always find what I want for free. And when I can't find what I want for free, I buy it. So my is job is to make sure that I provide things that people can't find easily. And I provide them at a high quality that makes them feel good about spending money on it. And, you know, so. <laughs> All right, and it works out. She's like, hey, yeah. put a high quality product that people no, want. I get a, you, like you, yeah. you, you, you can put out a good niche out there mm -hmm. that everybody would want and want to um you know go out there and can get whatever because mm -hmm. i know and I, I mean i've said before like the type that i prefer to watch and it's very common so if mm -hmm. you someone like me you know that like because i don't pay for a lot i subscribe to feet videos rostar huh feet videos those I are the will, ones you like right I, I know where you are at right now and i will uh throw a rock at you but um, I, I, Alex, I, I am petrified of feet. That's why mm. he's saying that. Um, I am very petrified of feet. So mm -hmm. that's why he's saying that. Like, I'm very scared of feet. But mm. anyway, I only only watch Girl, Girl, and Girl and Machine. Mm -hmm. you know? And I, I subscribe to Girl as well. So that's it. So if it's not yeah, on, everybody if, has if, their thing. If it's not on there, it might not get watched <laughs> ever. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. So, but I still push for everybody, you know, to support um, different strokes for different folks. Exactly. Exactly. So. Exactly. So let me see. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm going. I hit all my uh, my note stuff. So, oh, oh, you sing also. I forgot I to say do. that. Uh huh. I do. I like oh, singing. You do. Yeah, because like it's it's and it, the bad part about it is is in my my very first line of my notes it says <laughs> it literally it's like I like I went to the second line because I wasn't gonna say it in my introduction and it says she loves volunteering and helping people and she sings and sells her, her artwork and that's the very first line of my of my notes. <laughs> but boom, that's you how it's written. To come back to it. <laughs> Yeah, so, no, I, uh, yeah, I, I've sang in some charity uh, auction settings and stuff like that, and then uh, I sang at a function at one of the years at AVN, um, out of the convention, it was uh, downtown, but um, yeah, mostly I just do it for fun, and I'm self-taught, and I don't pretend to be, like, an, that good at it or anything, but I have fun with it, so. I've heard, um, I've heard you post a video of you singing. You sound really I've good. put up a few, and I put up a ton on uh, OnlyFans, I let people request songs and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, somebody that. wanted me to sing Ariel, so I was singing some Ariel the other day. Oh. Uh, uh, like a whole new... Um, like uh, like Disney. Like I know, um, Part of Your World, or... Yeah, yeah, that's a good okay. one. Okay. Wow. I I kind of want to hear that. but uh, That's a nice change yeah. of pace. That's yeah. Good, that's one thing I, I do like about going to... Because, um, you know, here in L.A., um, they have the entire porn star karaoke. Mm -hmm. so they that's have where, that here in Vegas too, I think. But I've never been to one in Vegas. I've only, because I know mm -hmm. when I first moved to LA in 08, mm -hmm. I started going to porn star karaoke that year. And that's when I started doing stuff around the industry. But, um, and that's when I realized like a lot of them can blow, can really sing really well. And your voice is spectacular. You posted a video like two days ago. Something like that. Of you singing. And I'm like, she sounds really good. I played it twice. I'm like, check out Alex. 
Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. It's um, I have to say, from I guess being starting to be involved in the industry, uh, it makes you think about your I guess previous thought on uh, well, people in porn. You just like you create this fantasy and this idea of them, mm -hmm. and then. Then when you start meeting them, you like, well, one, it's it sounds, man, it sounds messed up, but you're like, these are people, yeah, They're human, these are people, <laughs> and uh, like real people, and then yeah. you just realize how like, you know, it's not like I guess in a lot of people's minds they think, okay, they're doing porn. What else do they have to offer? Offer, but mm -hmm. it's like most of the people I've met have been like multi-talented like yeah multi-talented and like they just got a lot of i don't want to say plate spinning but they've got a lot of uh you know avenues that they can go down mm -hmm. or they like to go down so it's it's interesting and do you do you just like yeah. go through it and you see how good they are at it because people just say oh yeah she's saying yeah. but you know she might just sound horrible or they might <laughs> do this whatever and then you realize the uh identity identity of you know, of of their personas, you're like, oh my God, that's great. And you like you, you see you sing, you draw, you mean you play video games, you're really down to earth and people would just, you know, say, uh, shut up and have sex. But that's like and that like that's all you are. And you're so much more than that, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I um you know, I think people are are figuring that out slowly but mm -hmm. surely. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not too bothered. I don't get too much of the shut up and have sex uh, crowd. And I think that's because I have cultivated my audience and, and rewarded my fans for being nice people and stuff like that. So things mm -hmm. kind of take care of themselves. But at the same time, the only reason I get paid like I do or anybody in porn gets paid like they do is because of stigma. So without stigma, okay. there wouldn't be any reason to pay so much. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little torn on whether or not I feel the need to destigmatize my job all that much. The longer I do it, the less I <laughs> feel the need because I, I don't think I or anyone else that does this needs anyone's approval um, yeah. in order to do it. And I think, uh, you know, it's like, that's okay. If you don't like what I do or you don't think that much of me, that's totally fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, I'm I, not bothered. I don't see <laughs> I already chose to do this, so why yeah. would I be If I didn't like right? what I was doing, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, and some strangers mm -hmm. so <laughs> I wish a few more I wish more people would just kind of be like okay, she, you froze for a second there froze. you froze That's for a second there I, I missed we, we missed a second of what you said what's that I said you were you you had froze for a second there. I said we really? missed uh, we missed what she said there, but wow. uh, but from what we heard, you're right. Yeah, you know, yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like when, like when I when I say that, like I don't mean that you know you need to separate this and that. Mm -hmm. I was just saying that um, that people. A lot of people look down on people who do stuff in porn, and it's really bad for you to do that, you know, because at the end of the day, one, you're still a human, two, you still, you know, you're trying to entertain the masses, you're not hurting anybody. So yeah. as long as you are having fun, you are enjoying your life, you enjoy what you do, and people love you for you, love you, F what everybody else has to say. Exactly. Yeah. So that's just, that's, that's just my entire thought process and all of the stuff. Sure. So, yeah. So, um, what is your, what, what is your long-term um, plans for, you know? The industry. The industry. Sure. Um, so <laughs> I don't see ever stopping doing the camming and stuff because it's just, it's, it's so easy. It's, it's, I can do it from home. Even if I move on and do something else, um, I, I don't think I'll ever stop camming. Uh, I like it too much. And you can do it anywhere you have a webcam. So um, now you can even do it with your phone. So wow. it's even easier than when I started. Um, 
I'm going to see how far I can go with uh, mainstream and see if I can, uh, you know, just push the boundaries and push the limits. I just want to see what my ceiling is on, on all that. And I want to perform because I enjoy performing. So we'll see. Uh, no concrete plans. I kind of just plan on, on staying in the industry. Um, okay. You know, I've, I've done some directing and um, production. So I've done some camera work and PA work. So I could see someday directing uh, for my own site or something like that. Um, okay, I'm cool. going to be producing more of my own content coming up, especially with COVID and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's where I want to have my focus with uh, certain shoots to break up, you know, just being at home. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I just, I plan on being around. So, <laughs> you know, you know, the sky's the limit for you right now. Um, yeah. Because I believe that just from what I've seen so far, you have the ability to go really far and um, you can do a lot within your entire career of doing Thank everything you. into the in, in with this industry. You know, I, I feel, I, I feel that. I mean, I can, and I can tell that with just how you're speaking to us now and then everything you do on the internet in general, you know, you know, people, people, love to interact with you just all your fans and stuff so you could see that you could see that and you can see that they are enjoying it and yeah. so because because you have that ability you know to interact you know and people love what they what you say back to them you know i believe you have you can go really you you can i believe you can go further than you were thinking you can go right now yeah no i'm i'm pretty excited i i haven't put too many limitations on myself so i i think uh we're just gonna see how far this can go. And uh, I, I'm, I'm with you, I think we can go pretty far. I just hit uh, the top 0.65% on OnlyFans and that's only with like about a thousand fans. So wow. um, the the guys that are, you know, my ride or die guys are, are pretty incredible. So they, they help me achieve my goals and things like that. So big shout out. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Shout out to our fans on the OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told them when we hit a uh, point seven five percent that we were gonna have a champagne cam show, and they just crushed it. So now, okay. now I don't know. I'm gonna have to step it up. <laughs> got a real MVP. Got a real MVPs. Uh huh. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> cool. I'm glad, I'm glad you have that. Um, that's yeah. During this crazy time. You yeah. Know. Yeah. So right, and like so you're glad, yeah, I'm glad you've been able to pivot a lot of. Mm -hmm. It's been difficult for everybody, overall businesses, I guess. That's why I my main advice to people is, especially girls that are getting into the industry, is I think they need to diversify. Because um, girls will join and will ask me for advice, and my number one advice is, uh, first of all, just don't do this if you don't want literally everyone in your life to know that you do this. It won't necessarily happen, but you need to be prepared for it. And then the bigger point of advice is. Uh, if you're going to do this, you need to have a diversified revenue stream. So you need to have money that you can, things that you can make money, like many vids and clips for sale and things like that, where you can make money on it without touching it, where you've uploaded your clips and they just sell until you die. Um, mm -hmm. you, need, you need kind of active stuff like OnlyFans where you're messaging and stuff, but you don't have to go on live cam all the time. And then you need things like shoots for quick influxes and for paid promotion and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. And don't it's waste your money. You're a YouTuber, you shouldn't just be a YouTuber. You should also have your Instagram and your Twitter and your TikTok and your whatever the fuck um, mm -hmm. in multiple streaming platforms, Twitch, things like that. Instead of just putting all your eggs in one website or all your eggs in one basket or all your eggs into shooting, you need to have backup plans and then backup plans for your backup plans because <laughs> I agree with everything I, you said, and I believe that you need to add um, be money cautious, because a lot mm -hmm. of people um, join and they get that first or second those first two checks, and then they splurge on it, mm -hmm. splurge with it, and then they're broke again. Then mm -hmm. they realize they have to pay this, this, or this expense, whatever, and they can't afford it. You know. Right. Yeah. I think um, money management and saving and things like that are extremely important. But I agree with everything else you said, because a lot of people, 
don't do that you mm-hmm. know and it's like mm-hmm. you know it's it's not that hard well I'm not, I'm not gonna take that, take that back it's it's not hard but you know if you're going to do an only fans you know you gotta like at least in my opinion this is just my opinion at mm-hmm. least put up one thing a week if someone is subscribed to a monthly subscription you mm-hmm. know, yeah there's it. different there's different devotion levels to every platform and things like that like do what you can don't over yeah. don't burn don't yourself out or anything yeah. um, but i think it's good to if you're going to be shooting porn you should if you can if you're into it like also be camming or at least making your own videos for your own content. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good level of diversification and then if you have more free time or if you have more um motivation and and ability then you know add in more things but you just can't can't have just one thing Thank you. i'm sorry about like I, just, like I keep hearing my phone go off and i'm trying to figure, figure out where it's at i'm like I wanted, I wanted to stop <laughs> and i'm trying to cut it off but i don't know where it's at because i dropped it at some point before the interview started and yeah. I don't that. that's why i keep looking around All right. <laughs> No I'm like, please stop. Uh, okay. Um, we actually have hit the end, but I want you to make, but I want to make sure that you say, tell everybody where they can find you who uh, don't know like where you're at and everything. All right. Um, I made it super easy. You can find all my links at allmylinks.com slash a-l-e-x-x-x-c-o-a-l that's everything it's all right there Boom. yeah um there's a lot of people with like catfish accounts and scam accounts just if you're unsure if an account is real all the real links are on all my links if it's not there it's not real so super simple and at least yours are all you know the sa- somewhat the same on everything so Mm-hmm. Yeah, as as similar as I could get it. So I think I believe that like the only ones that are different, like the I want AlexCole dot com, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then uh, Instagram is always weird because I'm on like my fourth account and things yeah, like then, that. But yeah. all the all the legitimate links are on allmylinks dot com slash Alex Cole with three X's. So it's super super easy just to double check and make sure you're really talking to me and not some random person. Okay. And I do want I do want to reiterate this. Everybody who has listened to the podcast and you got a good little insight of uh you know Alex, um not just, you know, her as a you know, someone who's very sexual, but you see like her fun side and everything like that. Please make uh, go out there, you know, support her, follow her. If this is the first time you ever heard her voice, um, or even uh have heard of her, make sure you out there, you know, give her a like a like a like. Go out there, and, like, <laughs> like, like that's YouTube. <laughs> go out there, you know. Give her a like and a subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like and subscribe. No, go out there, you know. Support her, like follow follow her Instagram or Twitter. She posts stuff up there, you know. You can support her in every way. She is like, this is her real personality. She's really fun, <laughs> and like, it's a picture. I don't know if she changed her from a cover picture, but that cover picture identifies how fun she is. It's the picture of. Uh, <laughs> That I sent you that I like that I love so much. Yeah, I think I showed it to Chris before too. Um, yeah. Before, like a long time ago, it's a picture of her getting candy out the uh, out the uh, bucket. Yeah, and uh-huh. take a mouthful of uh, I think it's a uh, candy corn. Candy yeah. corn. Candy corn. And it, it yeah. is just oh. it's it's just such a fun picture. Yeah. And it's just that like I love it. It's no nudity on. It's just such a fun picture. I love that picture so much. And you can see that she's a very fun person. And because of that, everything that she does to entertain you and every sense of the matter is very amazing, whatever. And yeah, she, she and she just had a scene come out like three, four days ago on Girls Way. Uh, there you go. If you subscribe to that site, go out there and watch her. And if you really enjoy that scene, that's another reason why you should follow her. Mm-hmm. So, um, CW, um, tell everybody where they can find you really quick and everything. Where can people find you? Okay, on <laughs> Instagram, uh, Christopher the Christopher underscore mm-hmm. Willie with an IE underscore J. Um, far as my gym or 
virtual training or anything of that like that matter. It's uh, CC Fitness LA on Instagram, CC Fitness on Facebook, CC Fitness LA on Twitter, and CC Fitness LA.com. You can find us really quick at the Barbara Misfits on Instagram, um, BarbaraMisfits.com, and on um, Twitter. I'm Raw Star, R A W S C A R R. Um, that's my uh, link. Also, uh, with everything that we do, it's on BarbaraMisfits.com with him working out, uh, me doing photography, videography, and all that stuff like that. Please tune in next week. I have no idea who our guest will be, but we'd like to thank again the beautiful, radiant, awesome, amazing human being Alex Cole for coming on our podcast she just brought a whole thank you so much she brought so much she brought us a a good hour of of fun and just her just being wonderful so please go out there and support her in every sense of the fashion you know you would not you would not you would not be uh you would not be uh let us try. Disappointed? You would not. Thank you. I couldn't find this thing of the word. You would not be disappointed. That's what I'm here for. And the and the and the and the, and the, and the, and the fact that she, you know, loves nerds, nerd nerd culture by via the stuff that uh what they call nerd culture, is another mm-hmm. reason why you should support it because most of us are nerds at heart. So, again, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you. I'll talk to you next week. Be well.